Hello, so I'm making a quick review, uh, uh, easy review, just for like a first time user for the uh, Champion 2000i inverter um, generator. I just got it, so when you get it, this is right out of the box, I haven't started nothing. So first you unscrew this, and you gotta pull, it feels like you might break it, but you just pop it out. And that's where, um, that's where you gotta fill it up with oil, so it doesn't come with the amount of oil you need. And on the manual it says um, 400 milliliters. 0.4 liter so I bought this oil um, they recommend 10w30 but I use 5w30 because I'm in Canada it's a colder climate and this oil will uh, start in in colder climate there's a there's a chart in the instruction manual that shows you um, what type of oil you should get for your area but um, this is the one I picked and it's also full synthetic so I made this just to measure 400 milliliters I'm just gonna pour it in here and then I'm going to pour this into the oil container. That way I know that I've got 400 milliliters without messing around with the dipstick, you know? So yeah, now I got that. I use this little thing. This came with the generator right out of the box. So, and when you first use your generator, it says you got to uh, break it in. So you're going to, you're going to fill the oil with 400 milliliters. We're going to start it. Then you run it for, for five hours with some kind of load. And then you change the uh, the oil again, and that's how you break it in. But again, it'll um, it'll go into more details with the amount of load in the instruction manual. So I just poured that in slowly. It went in pretty good. Didn't overflow or nothing. And that should be right on 400 milliliters. Yeah, it's all empty. So I pulled the funnel out. Okay, now um, just gonna put the dipstick back. Oops. It is coming out a bit, so I don't know if 400 milliliters is too much, but that's what the manual said. But it does have a spot to pour out if it's a bit of an overflow. Okay, so I just put that in nicely. And maybe try a bit under 400, because that seemed to be too much. So yeah, I'm not gonna bother putting the cap okay, back so on. Yeah, I just uh, came back, I just had to grab some gas. So I'm gonna unscrew the cap. It's got a little filter in there so heavier debris doesn't go in. I'm gonna try to make this shot. Yep. I'm getting most of it in. I forgot to unscrew the the back part to let the air flow better and then it wouldn't have been dripping as much. But uh, that's fine. There's no point crying over spilled gas. Okay, that's good for now. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go back to the manual. This is really just given, because this is my first time with a generator, really given a, uh, a genuine uh, feel on buying a generator. So it says pour the gas, make sure the generators are outside, of course. Uh, add fuel, I did that. Do not plug anything. Turn the fuel cap vent lever to the on position. Okay, that's good. So that's this, it's gotta be in the on. And turn easy start dial to the full choke position. Okay. And pull the recoil. So let's see this bad boy go. I'm not sure if I'm missing something. I just don't like that this uh, this table is a bit too wobbly. I think I want to put it down on something a bit more uh, stable. You'll see it's it's about 50 pounds without fuel. So it's not too heavy. It's still movable, but not like you know you don't want to lug around everywhere. Half, I had a half a tank, and 
this will show the um, the load percentage, however much uh, electricity you're using at the time. And this shows the remaining time for the current load position that you're using. This is echo mode. One echo mode on because it'll only uh, it'll only get loud depending on the load that you plug in. So the last thing I'm going to show you, just plug in something in, and we'll see how it works. But for now, it's about the the same volume as maybe a, a rough dishwasher, like an old dishwasher. Okay, so yeah, I just grabbed this drill because this will be something I'll be using the Jenny with. Um, I got it mostly for camping, but also for job sites. So I can uh, just bring it to a job site and plug my drill in. So that's pretty cool. The drill's working really well. It's only showing about 20% uh, load. So that's good. So now that drill might have less of it. That didn't work really well talking over the drill, but it showed you, yeah, the drill worked fine. And this only boosted up to about 20% load, so I could have plugged in lots of other things and still use this heavy duty drill at the same time. So anyways, that's all I wanted to show you. It's a somewhat quick uh, review of this uh, Champion 2000i portable inverter generator. Okay, thank you.